you know, if, if you look at your Twitter feed, it's kind of like the who's who of all sorts of different disciplines, you know, athletes and CEOs and actors and, and you know, they're, they're what you might call high performance people. And I always wondered, you know, you, you must see some similarities with all of these people. And I wonder if it's that they have these high performance habits. Is it, you know, I guess since you're with them, they're always learning. Is there something that you kind of see throughout these different types of people? Because you're in a really unique place. Probably there's no one like you that gets to be in these people's lives. And I wonder what you see there. I mean, I think that um, the common thread, and I, I would imagine with all your guests, they share this in common, is that they are, they are lifelong learners. Because anyone who, I think learning, or especially meta-learning, learning how to learn, is one of, it's like the grandfather or the grandmother of personal growth or high performance or self-help, if you will. Because without learning, nothing, nothing changes. And so I think that one of the common themes is they have a high standard for things. You know, they have a vision. And, you know, I always talk about three H's, head, hard hands, that you could visualize things with your head um, and, you know, set goals and outcomes and KPIs or affirmations. But if you're not acting with your hands, something is missing. And I think the second H, the, you know, the heart and having the, the motivation or drive, the, the emotion to be able to, to achieve those things because we're not, we're not always logical, right? But we're, we're biological, you know, dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, endorphins. I mean, we, we do things very um, based on our feelings. I find that spending time with high achievers, they have a high, uh, high drive. And, you know, those feelings, a high level of, some people call it purpose. Asking yourself, like, why? Why do I want to remember this? Why do I want to learn this? Why do I want to achieve that goal? Because reasons reap results. They really do. Reasons reap results and a lot of rewards. I really think life, like we really grow the most and live the most when we're playing and practicing at the edge of our limits. You know, because we don't, we're uncomfortable. Exactly. Because, and I think there, that commonality is, is common with, with high performers or elite mental performers or athletes or actors or traders or, you know, educators or philanthropists. They're just, they're at that level. I think a lot of people, they give away their, their sovereignty and a lot of their power to other people as an expert or as a, a guru, if you will. But I think the ultimate expert is ourself. And I really do believe self-awareness is a superpower like knowing yourself. For me to feel totally fulfilled and, be, and if people want to be successful, be happy, I think it comes down to two things. I think it comes down to having the curiosity to want to know yourself. Like really go deep about who are you, what are your beliefs and what do you really value, what do you stand for, what do you stand against, all these different things, your capabilities, your habits, your routines. Uh, so having that self-awareness, the curiosity to know yourself. But once you know yourself, I think a lot of people might know themselves, but you also need the courage to be yourself too. Like once you know yourself, you need to be able to, to have that courage, that boldness to really live it. Because I really do believe, we're talking about learning from other people. I believe ultimately the life we live are the lessons we teach. The life we live are the lessons we teach to other people. And it's not about what we say. So many people just say, you know, they can say things all the time. But if they're not doing those things, I feel like we don't really understand it. I think really when it comes down to it, a life well lived is not just the words, because words, it's better well done than well said. You know, but so many of us are shrinking sometimes, and you must see this, Brian, where because we're, we're so, we're, we value other people's opinions so much and their expectations so much, and we don't really know ourselves. and even if we are getting glimpses of it, you know, it's, it's hard in this world to be ourselves when you have, you know, so many people are living a life, you know, it's their parents, you know, ideas for them, or it's the, it's the Joneses or something like that. And I think if you, I think you, you could really go broke buying into other people's opinions, you know, and their expectations. And so coming back to this, you know, when, when we're talking about, about human memory and, and, and learning, I just feel like we're here to, to grow and we're here to give. And that's when we feel the most empowered. So it's like knowing who we are and then, and then being who we are.